Welcome to Professor Lai Qinglong's medical tutorial. One day, Professor Lai asks, What are the causes of protein losing enteropathy? Most students stick to their computers. Some of them search through the internet. Some of them are busy in writing notes. Causes of protein losing enteropathy can be easily found in the internet. There are more than 30 causes that I can't remember them all. Different references may classify the causes of protein losing enteropathy differently. For example, mucosal diseases with or without ulcerations, lymphatic problem, congenital causes. The importance of Professor Lai's tutorial is that he teaches the thinking process. He first asks along the intestine, stomach, small bowel, colon, and others. Stomach causes hypertrophic gastropathy, some particular gastritis. Small bowel causes intestinal lymphangiectasia, which can be further classified into primary and secondary. Then inflammatory bowel disease. Then Professor gives the tips about different disease categories, namely malignancy, autoimmune, infection, and drugs. I always share with the students that if we have difficulty in generating differential diagnosis, think about MAID, M -A -I -D, small bowel. Apart from intestinal lymphangiectasia, malignancy, intestinal lymphoma, autoimmune, celiac disease, infection, including bacterial overgrowth, repose disease, tropical sprue, going down to colon. Apart from inflammatory bowel disease, autoimmune, collagious colitis, infection, Clostridium difficile, that is pseudomembranous colitis, can cause protein losing enteropathy. There are many other causes for protein losing enteropathy, like mesenteric problem, portal hypertension, hepatic venous outflow obstruction, congestive heart failure, fontan procedure, constrictive pericarditis, sarcoidosis, amyloidosis, malignancy like involving mesenteric lymphatics, GI malignancy, autoimmune, SLE, connective tissue disease, infection, including tuberculosis, viral, and parasitic infections. Last but not the least, NSAID, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, are known to cause protein losing enteropathy. Suggestions for further reading. Professor tells me that don't rely on Google. I suggest go back to books or if you have time. An article by Luca in Current Opinion in Gastroenterology in 2020 or Olsen's article in New England Journal of Medicine in 2023 are good to read. In summary, Professor Lai Qinglong asks about causes of protein losing enteropathy. He teaches the thinking process. Any questions or comments? Thank you. See you next time.